Do you ever mix way too much of a color and then feel really bad about just having to get rid of it or use it up knowing that you're going to need it again? So I have been saving my old paint tubes and using this syringe thingy to store my extra paint. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to paint wood slice with the help of Lizzie McGuire, of course. So I wanted to do the little mushrooms, you know, but with different flowers. I have a mushroom print with flowers, but I'm going to do it different. And I thought, how perfect would it be on a wood slice? Am I right? Now, I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to do this. Um, I love outlining things in pen, but with these type of flowers, I don't outline them. So it wouldn't be very cohesive. So I just kept going with it. And there, hi, that's me. Okay. This is me being very unsure about it. I was like, ooh, but then I was like, whatever, I'll keep going. And that's usually how it goes, so. This is me judging Lizzie McGuire for what, I don't care remember what she was doing. Um, then I drew some little grass, like, how oh, cute. And then I drew some greenery. Okay, now let's call our esteemed art critic to come in here and give her a point of view. Ella! Come here! Come here! Okay, you're welcome for that. Um, this is in my shop as well as a print of it. Thank Paint one side pink, then the other blue. Shade them together. Spray paint a yellow circle on the pink side. Then you're going to grab your white and do the same. Now add some face features on the moon, then do the same with the sun. Now add some clouds and some stars. Now grab a skinny long brush and outline. Add some more faces to some of the clouds. Grab your Posca markers and make some little designs or add some dots to flow with the stars. Now flick that wrist for them lashes. All done. All right, check it out. So I ended up on your For You page, which means you like art or you're an artist. I just wanted to show you my work. Look at the detail. I spent many hours on this. I just hope I get one like, a couple of comments, maybe a share even. That would be dope. All right, people, I've heard your cries for yellow. I've heard your cries for sunflowers, and I'm giving you both. I mean, you can't have sunflowers and not have yellow. Okay, whatever. Yellow's a little bit out of my comfort zone, and I was like, is this going to be ugly? I think it is. But then an I, I can't tell you how many times I went back and forth between loving it and hating it, which is common for artists. But then when I started outlining it, I really hated it. I was like, ugh. But then now I love it, and I hope y'all do too. So just, you know, don't tell me if you don't. <laughs> and if you do love it, it's on my website, those canvases, as well as a notebook, um, and then an art print version of each, as well as phone wallpapers. So usually I let Ella voice her opinion about my painting, but this time I thought it'd be fun to show your, her reaction in person. It was a little disappointing at first, but I think she really got it towards the end, you know? But now watching back, here's Ella's final thoughts. What? Thank you. Her opinion is always appreciated. So we're almost done. Here we go. Ta-da. Artists on TikTok really need to be shown more love, right? So with that said, artists, just collect all of your paintings and stand next to them. If you like this artist, then give them a follow. But if not, I hope you have a great day. So as an artist, I'm someone that is a huge perfectionist and I literally cannot bear to put something out there that is not 100% perfect and that I'm 100% satisfied with. But I realize that this is really not a good way to grow as an artist and try new things. So with this piece, I decided that basically the whole point was I was just going to try and get it done in a day um, and not get stuck up on things that I didn't think were perfect and also I was really keen to put sequins on a painting and um, I felt like this was the perfect painting for it and this is what I came out with. I've always struggled with body image. I'm guessing it's partly because social media and societal beauty standards, partly from shaming for my family, partly from toxic perfectionism. But it makes me so mad that I even care. Like, I know I could be so much happier and so much more fulfilled if I spent the time caring about how I look, doing actually useful shit, and I know my worth as a human being isn't tied to the size of my boobs or how flat my stomach is, and I know how privileged I am to have a body that's healthy and fully functioning, and I know I'm just a sack of meat and the universe is big and I'm gonna die anyway, and I know there are so many bigger things to be concerned about, and I know this is just me sublimating my anxiety about the precariousness of life into a vessel I can control. I'm aware 
of all of this. I'm aware of the cognitive dissonance in my own brain, and I can rationalize every single reason why I shouldn't give a shit. But I still do, and that just makes me hate myself more. So I guess this piece just represents all of my frustrations, and it's symbolic of how I've created an enemy out of myself. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I bought this purse, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna revamp it. Then I found this picture. But that's the thing, I bought this a couple weeks ago. I had already attempted to draw that. It didn't go that well, like at all. But my cheap ass isn't gonna waste a purse, so I am gonna fix this with paint. So with a little love, some paint, <laughs> my family, and Lord of the Rings, I think we can make this happen. So stop judging me, Tina. You know, from far away, it kind of looks cool, but then when you zoom in, <laughs> this is me in a crowd. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I actually fixed Tina. Man, Jean's making me hungry for paint. <laughs> Why is this looking good? Damn, that's a good looking burger. All right, the only thing left is to outline it and I pray I don't ruin it. Here goes nothing. Late, oh my god, I actually did it. I can't believe I have a custom made Bob's Burger purse. I mean, Linda is looking a little rough, but you know what, she had some wine. Easy acrylic paint tutorial. Cut out a mini canvas from cardboard, tape the edges, and put some gesso on the front to make the paint stick better. Get pink acrylic paint, purple acrylic paint, and white acrylic paint. Go ahead and make your pink a little bit darker by adding red and put it at the top of your sky. Then make the purple a little lighter by adding white and put it at the bottom of your sky. Add some white wispy clouds and continue to layer until it's blended. Dog break! Keep layering until you like how it looks. Now I'm adding some black acrylic paint to my palette because I'm going to be making trees. How to paint them? Make a line and then put wispy motions on the outside. I added three more. Then I took white acrylic paint and made some stars. This is my favorite part. I'm also adding some diamond shaped stars. Those are fun to paint too. Taking a gold colored pencil, I'm sketching out the shape of the moon and then I'm going to color it in with some white acrylic paint. Here comes the satisfying part. Take off the tape and... Paint your canvas tan. Add the shape of a face, then you're going to contour. You're going to shade that in a little bit. Add some eyeshadow, lipstick, and some blush. You're going to add some eyes, then outline the hair, then fill the hair in. Then you're going to grab a thin, skinny paintbrush and flick the wrists for them lashes. Grab your paint markers and draw some squiggly lines around her. Then you're going to grab a blue marker and go around her one time. Now you have this beautiful painting. Listen up, punks. If I'm on your For You page, <laughs> it's a mistake. Um, I don't know how I got there, to be honest. I think I've gotten a total of seven likes on my videos. So if for some reason I made it and you're seeing this, just... Drop a heart, man. I worked hard. I